competitors. So a lot of the other competitors uh, obviously talk about oil leaks with TNL. I mean, if you have an oil leak in a TL, go and fix it. It's easy to find. I mean, it's easy to find a TNL. The oil that TNL use is biodegradable and it's not harmful to the environment at all. But if you do have an oil leak, it's easy to find and go and tighten up the oil leak and then it won't won't leak again. Another thing the competitors will say is that, you know, you've got to change the oil in a TNL every year. Now people if once you put the oil in the machine, once you first put it together, if you haven't got any oil leaks for the life of the machine, you'll never have to change the oil. You'll never have to change the oil. I can't stress that enough. And if you have a little oil leak, go and tighten it up. Another thing they say is that the oil gets hot. I mean, when you look, the oil lines run along the machine, and if it gets to 45 degrees Celsius, that's not very hot for oil. And the whole machine with the oil lines running along it is like one big radiator. So every time it goes between every tower, it cools down and gets the next one. I mean, these plant trees aren't running at high speed and the oil isn't getting hot. So they'll say that the TNL runs at different speeds with different uh, with the oil level. But you know, the ones we've been installing have got a GPS on the end tower. So then the GPS governs the speed or the or even a manual flow control one, it only allows the TNL to go at a certain speed, a certain constant speed with very even irrigating. It doesn't, because of this large radiator that the whole machine is, the oil doesn't heat up and cool down, it always moves at the same speed. So it's just something I wanted to say about, you know what the competitors will say about TNL. Uh, an oil leak is a hell of a lot easier to fix than an electric leak because you can see exactly where it is every time.